The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello everyone, welcome to the free Salesforce career guidance by Interlogic, your Salesforce school on YouTube. And let us see in today's lesson what you are going to see. So today's five minute lesson is to understand part number 13 of Salesforce real-time scenario based interview questions. How to answer these questions? Let us see one by one. Let's start the first question. How many users we can create in Salesforce project? So generally when interviewer is trying to ask this question, he may be also interested to ask in your project how many users you, had, you might have created. So please note in Salesforce there is no limit in terms of creating user. We can create hundreds, we can create thousands. That depends on projects and ultimately depends on how many licenses you have. So you can say we can create n number of users, no limit. But that depends on the license, how many licenses we have. Let's go for next question. What are the record level security you know in Salesforce? So the way we have in security like object level, record level, field level in that the second category record level is what interviewer is trying to understand from your side. So role sharing rule, manual sharing, these are the record level sharings you can tell that you know in Salesforce project. And this way also you can explain them if they ask you in detail some more information about the same. And uh, also, please note that by using the Apex Manage Sharing, Apex Code also we can plan to give a record level sharing in Salesforce. But in general, role, sharing rule and manual sharing is enough. Let's go for next question. What is role in Salesforce? So when we have a hierarchy in Salesforce and uh, we have senior junior kind of system where you want automatically a junior person's record to be available to senior person for read, edit or delete. So at that time we use role by sharing in Salesforce where juniors data automatically get becomes accessible for senior person in the hierarchy. Let's go for the next question. What is OWD in Salesforce? So in the interview they can use OWD, org by default, organization, organization by default, anything. So you can tell that OWD is a kind of a baseline of any Salesforce object security where as soon as record is created, then we get the rights to decide the owner of the record is going to take what kind of decision. So apart from owner, the record should be available for which kind of people or how it should be accessible that can be decided by OWD. So apart from owner, the record will be available for other people in read write mode, read read mode and also you can keep it private. So no one can see the record apart from owner. This kind of settings you can do in OWD. And uh, by default, OWD is public read write. So available for everyone. Apart from owner, record will be available for everyone. So this way you can explain this organization by default in Salesforce. Let's go for next question. Which file format data loader support in Salesforce? So in data loader or data import wizard, the CSV file format is supported. So you can explain CSV file format, the comma separated value. And guys, that's it with the part number 13 of Salesforce interview question series and prepare well by these questions and let's meet for more preparation in the next video for your upcoming interviews. Till then, good luck for your interviews.